Rome is one of the world's great masterpieces. The Italian capital boasts nearly 3,000 years of rich history, with a tradition for hosting incredible sporting contests. Now the Eternal City is in the frame to welcome golf's greatest gladiators for the Ryder Cup in 2022. Thanks largely to the exploits of Costantino Rocca in 1995, the sport is flourishing in Italy, and two of its leading players, Matteo Manassero and Francesco Molinari, are hoping to be part of a new chapter for the Ryder Cup and the city itself. So if we get the Ryder Cup in Rome and you're playing, who would be your ideal partner for foursome and four ball? I think you could teach me a lot of things. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it could be you. Or it would be it would be amazing to play it with, uh, with with some other Italians and, and and share the experience. But definitely I choose one, being uh, accurate and always in the right spot with you. It'd be nice to, to play with you to be your experienced partner. And yeah, it would be amazing feeling to, to play you know two Italians together in Italy. Let's hope to do it, yeah. What do you think? Are we ready for this Ryder Cup 2022? Italy is ready, you know, it's uh, the interesting golf has been growing the, the last few years and we've been lucky to, to be part of the movement and uh, I think it would be massive to, to have the Ryder Cup there. The, the crowds would be huge and uh, it would be a great boost for Italian golf. Rome is, uh, is an amazing city uh, and we're lucky to have it, so I think, uh, I think we, it, could be, it could be an amazing event. Would you rather play with the noise like Baba did in Medina or with the silence from the crowd? Definitely, definitely with the noise. Definitely with the noise. I would ask for it. Uh, if it doesn't come natural, I would, I would ask for it, for sure. I mean, I think it's the spirit of Ryder Cup to be more noisy than, uh, than any other event. And that's what I would like to, to witness. So when you're in Italy, do you go to football matches or MotoGP races and big events like that? Yeah, I, I go, I go many times. Uh, to watch Inter Milan? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> just that. <laughs> so I, I go, I've, I've been lately to the, to the F1 in, in Monza and it was, it was really nice. I think for that reasons, we're really good on creating very good atmosphere in these in this big events. That's for that reason, I think we could, uh, we could make a great Ryder Cup. How was the first year experience at the Ryder Cup for you? Very special, you know, it's, uh something you, you don't experience in normal tournaments. You're shaking, you're scared, and uh, it's tough, it's not easy, but uh, it's great to, to see the crowds, to, to hear the songs, and to, to have the opportunity to, to be there. Is there more tension in a Ryder Cup or major championship? No, I would say in a, in a Ryder Cup, obviously, if you get in contention on Sunday in a major, it's a similar feeling, but what the Ryder Cup adds to it, obviously, it's the, uh, the pride you're, you're playing for and uh, the fact that there are 11 teammates relying on you. But then, obviously, especially if you win the Sunday night, it's, it's good fun and you've got some good memories of players dancing and, and, and singing and, uh, you know, things that stick with you for a long time. What was it like to play uh, against Tiger in the singles? It's tough, the, the, especially the first time it was, uh, you know, I wasn't too happy about the draw because obviously you, you want to bring your point to the team and I was probably hoping for a slightly easier match than that. Uh, but then I think the, the first time experience helped me two years later playing again against him to have the chance to play against probably the best or one of the best players in the history of the game makes the you know that occasion even more special. So do you think uh, playing in a team event like the Ryder Cup would bring out the best of your game? I, I, I hope so. I mean uh, I've played team events in very different circumstances but I, I played as you know, many team events as an amateur, and uh, I th it's something I personally really like to share something with some other players, which is we're not used to it because it's all we share is with our caddy, basically, and 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 in in this occasion we would share it with with other with other players, and uh, 
you know, share the tension, share the nerves, uh, and, and, and the, the big stage that it is. I think it's, uh, it could bring something extra out of it. How do you think a Ryder Cup in Rome would be unique? I think it would be unique for the city itself because it's, uh, it's so great and, and beautiful. It would be unique for the atmospheres that Italian can create. Uh, it would be unique for the amount of people that we would get for Rome and the Ryder Cup and everything. And it's, I mean, a Ryder Cup, it's always unique uh, every time. And I think uh, in Italy, it could be, it could be even, even more so. And, and being the first time in, in, in our country would be something special. It would definitely be unique if I'll, for me to be, to be in, in my own country would be unique for me. And the weather. And the weather. <laughs> Two men who typify what Italy would offer as Ryder Cup hosts. 2022 may seem a while away, but where better in the world to begin a new chapter?